John basketball, we had no contact whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I, I, if you ask me though, I'd still do it all again. John and the Magic Fridge was kind of a, a passion project for me. You know, it came from the heart and just flowed as soon as the idea came to start filming. That's it, that's a So John Basketball was a film that we came up with on a whim essentially. Um, it started off with just me playing basketball very terribly with a half flat football we found in Radford Park. Um, and then I, I kept trying to dunk it in the, the basketball hoop there. And then we eventually just formed a character called Ashley Basketball. And then that went to a uh, John Basketball. And the idea of the Magic Fridge was like a, a really, really old idea from a few years ago. But me and, me and Morgan talked about it and like, we were playing games and stuff. And then that kind of described Doctor to the character. So that became John Basketball and the Magic Fridge from the two ideas we put them together. And it kind of worked very well. In my opinion, John Basketball as a character is much more complex than Walter White Heisenberg. Because with John Basketball, it's not a direct, you know, he's not the same person anymore. It's more like Tyler Durden in the narrator from Fight Club. Because, you know, he's a different person to who Ashley used to be. He's completely changed due to the head injury. And, you know, I think that just makes him a lot more complex than most people want to realize and most characters in other media are. Budget, budget was an issue for us. We didn't have anything. <laughs> we, did, we had no budget, we had no camera, we had no editing software. Had to film it off the director's phone, which was uh, pretty weird, you know, normally you've got cameras and mics, you know, full setup when you're making a film, but if this was just a guy with his phone just staring at you in the face. We just had a vision and people who wanted to support that vision. And so budget was a, a, rough, a rough one, to say the least. Similar to John Basketball, after making the film, I was a changed man from before. So I could really embody the character of Ashley and John, changing from the start to the end. I've never been the same since. I, I play Tony in the film, Tony Bricks. And the role of Tony Bricks was probably one of the most life-changing roles I've ever played. It was a beautifully written character and the man who wrote that character deserves awards and medals because John Basketball changed me too because it was incredible. Um, one thing I would mention is on the set of uh, John Basketball and Malik Fridge is we had a bit, we had many fallouts on set. Um, also being caused by you no know, payment, you know, no budget, no payment. Uh, this all around filming, filming can always be stressful for people, uh, especially around that time. You know, early directors can't really get their vision out, as you know, they, they put in a script, all that stuff, but it's hard to get the vision across, so you argue and, you know, kind of kind of fallen out over that. Uh, you know, throughout my career, I've started to notice arguments on set happen, you know. Actors get annoyed, lighting people get annoyed, directors get annoyed. Everyone gets annoyed when you're trying to make, you know, a project that you have a vision for. And, uh, yeah, me and Ashley, uh, to say the very least, we definitely fell out on set um, a lot. Uh, we didn't speak to each other for months after, after the fall, kind of, after the release of... John Basketball, we had no contact whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, I, I, if you ask me though, I'd still do it all again, because it's, it's, it's a great film and, you know, it's really something.